Some physics students are reading problems these days about a car driving around a curve or around an embankment. And some of them are a little confused visually about what's going on, so I thought I'd draw some pictures. These are images of a car or van or whatever. These are the headlights, so the car is coming towards you, if it looks like that. Uh, this is supposed to be the license plate, so this car is going away. And this is a side view, and this is a top view. Now, if you have a flat road that is circular and you're driving around it, the position of the car would look like that. If you go for the bird's eye view, then this position, the car would be like that. You're seeing the top of the car. Now, where are the forces acting on this? Gravity is pulling downward, and here it would be an X because it's going away. Normal force would be upward. So if those forces are up and down, what's making it turn? There has to be another force here. You only know a few forces, normal force, gravity, tension, but we don't have any ropes, and friction, and springs, but we don't have any springs either. So it's got to be friction, but which way does the friction point? Think about where the car would go if it suddenly hit an oil slick. It would go straight like that. Friction must be stopping it from doing that. So friction must be pointed that way. If a car is on a tilted road, then the normal force means normal, perpendicular to the surface. Gravity is straight down. And if you go at just the right speed, it will go in a circle. If you're not going at the right speed, you could have friction either uphill or downhill, depending on whether you're going too fast or too slow. But the center of the circle is here, so centripetal force will be whatever points that way. 